Hey curl friends, I'm Bianca Renee and you're watching Bianca Renee today. And today, I'm finally going to show you a new product that a lot of you have already secretly found out about and DM me about, but I wasn't able to say anything until today. Launch day, official launch day, which is the new Curl Smith Bond Curl Rehab Solve. Today's video is sponsored by Curl Smith because you know I had to be one of the first people to show you about their new product. What is it you ask? Well, it's something that's going to repair your hair. The Bond Curl. It says right here that the new Bond Curl Rehab Solve is a bonding treatment for weak damaged hair. It's supposed to build resilience, protection, and bond stability. If you are new to Curlsmith, know that all their products are sulfate, paraben, silicone free, vegan, cruelty free. It also has hand picked ingredients like pressed chai seeds. Oh shit, talkie mushrooms. <laughs> Remember that joke? Name that movie. Pickled pear pulp, pumpkin seed oil, and guava and kale. All their ingredients sound like a delicious salad. But this blend of superfoods is part of their new strength collection, but it is designed to make your hair look stronger and more resilient. So who should use this product? If you are someone dealing with heat damage, color damage, or your curls just aren't as poppin' as you know they can be, this is going to be the product for you. Now let me clarify, this is not a conditioner. This is a bonding treatment. So this is something that you're going to use in addition to your current curly hair routine. Usually it's going to be your step one, meaning you apply this to your hair before you shampoo, condition, and style. Now I already know some of you, your wheels are a turning and you're thinking like a bonder? That sounds very familiar to an already existing product. Oh, do you mean Olaplex? You're absolutely right. Olaplex is the current professional market leading brand, especially when it comes to a bonder. So this bonder has to come correct to compete with this one. I have used Olaplex before. I have not made a full video on it, but it is something that I do recommend to people that are dealing with damage and just really need to strengthen their hair. One thing that I've always struggled with Olaplex is that it's a very small bottle for a big price. The Olaplex number three is supposed to repair and strengthen your hair for all hair types, and it only has 3.3 fluid ounces, where the new Bond Curl has eight fluid ounces. So you get more than double the product for a dollar more. Olaplex is $28, Curlsmith is $29. So point number one goes to Curlsmith for having the larger product, getting more for your money. Now let's do a quick little smell test, shall we? Olaplex, ooh, it does smell really good though. It's a very, ooh, it's like a very refreshing perfume scent. And then Curlsmith, um, clear the nostrils. Ooh, ooh, this one's fun. This is like a more sweet, fruity. Ooh, you really are gonna want to lick this. Don't do it, but you're gonna wanna take a little sip. Ah, they both smell amazing. It's gonna depend on preference if you like perfume versus like fruity. Um, this one might be a little bit stronger in fragrance, but neither of them have like a lasting smell on your hair. But smell and bottle size doesn't really matter if they don't work. So let's go ahead and put these both to the test. I'm going to do a side-by-side -side comparison showing you the Olaplex side versus the Bond Curl side. One thing that I personally always struggle with when it comes to Bond products is when and how to apply them. Technically, this is supposed to be your step one. It says apply to damp hair. But anytime you apply something to your hair, you usually want your hair to be clean so you're not applying it to like dirty hair, but you then have to shampoo, condition, deep condition usually after these things. So that means you're kind of taking two showers in one day and just ain't nobody got time for that and I know you're not gonna do it. <laughs> but what you can do is, if you're on like day four hair, your hair isn't like 
dirty, your scalp's not that bad. You could just get in the shower, get your hair wet, kind of just rub your scalp, get up any kind of product buildup, do a very light water cleanse, and then apply your bonding treatment. If you're like me, you don't really like applying products to dirty hair, you could cleanse your hair first and then do it. So today, what I did, I used the Curlsmith Super Slip Prebiotic Primer, kind of as a little step one, just to lightly cleanse my hair, do a little bit of detangling so I could evenly distribute the product, then I rinsed it out, and then I applied the bonders. So totally up to you. You either can just get your hair wet and apply the product on your dirty hair, or you can clean your hair first if you don't mind taking an extra shower. Some of you are already like, too much, I'm over it. But if you have damaged hair, you need to commit to this step. So without further ado, let's get started and put both of these to the test by doing a little split test. One side I'm gonna apply Olaplex, the other side I'm gonna apply the Bond Curl Rehab Solve, and we're gonna see if we see a difference between the two. All right, let's do this. I'm excited, I am fresh out the shower. It's another annoying step, I will admit, but I did wash my hair just using the Curlsmith Super Slip Prebiotic Primer just to kind of get a nice cleanse, detangle a little bit so I could really apply these products. Don't have to. I'm going to do a split test straight down the middle, one side Bond, one side Olaplex. Let's do this. Let's start off with the Olaplex number three. This stuff is amazing. It definitely works. I don't use it at home too often, but it is used on my hair every time I get my hair colored at the salon. This is what salon professionals use. So this is something that already works. So just because there's a new product does not mean that the old products don't work anymore. We just want to see how well the new Bond Curl does in comparison. So if you go to the Olaplex website, you'll see that it says to use once a week or two to three times a week for those that have damaged hair. It's for all hair types, even straight hair, but especially those with visible damage. I'm going to apply a nice amount of this into my hair. I do feel like you have to use a lot to really get it on all of your hair if you do have a lot of hair, and that's why I'm not really a fan of the small bottle, but I am going to be twisting my hair to let it sink in there and also train my curls. If you have damaged hair, you're probably going to want to train your curls to get that curl definition back. I've done this in a previous video. This is a tip I got from my friend, Hi Felicia. Another thing that I'm not too fond about with Olaplex is that number three is one of the few products in their collection that's silicone free. Even their shampoo has silicone. So I always get a little confused when a brand brags about being silicone free in one step of a product when all the other steps do have it. <laughs> but that's just me. Now let's try the Curlsmith Bond Curl Rehab Solve, which is a protein rich intensive pre-shampoo treatment that targets hair bonds to strengthen and repair from the inside out. It is not a conditioner so it should be always be followed up with a shampoo and a suitable moisturizer so this is also for any hair type if it's more damaged high porosity hair we'll need to use it more often in combination with the rest of the strength recipe more products coming soon so what does it do it targets the hair bonds to relink and repair damage strengthens your hair makes your hair super soft and manageable protects hair against breakage and enhances your curl pattern so you apply it to damp hair and you can leave it on for a minimum of 15 minutes longer if desired up to one hour because it is very high in protein i would recommend no longer than one hour if you have high porosity hair, you should use this every two to three wash days for at least 30 minutes. If you have medium porosity, use it every three to four wash days for at least 20 minutes. And if you have low porosity hair, use it every four to five wash days for at least 15 minutes. Once I'm done with all of my twisting, I'm now gonna put it up and away under a shower cap. And I'm gonna let it sit for a minimum of 15 minutes, but after I do my makeup, it'll probably be more closer to an hour. So I'll be back. And I'm back, it's been about an hour probably. So you can leave it for up to 15 minutes to an hour. Some people are as crazy to do it like overnight, but I wouldn't recommend doing anything with protein for longer than an hour. So it's time to rinse this out. Let's take down both sides. And I'm just going to do a little unravel of them. Gently break them apart. So now I'm going to wash my hair with the Curlsmith Vivid Tones Vibrancy Shampoo and the Glow Perfecting Conditioner. Then I'm going to end it off with a deep conditioner. This is the Curlsmith Double Cream Deep Quencher to give my hair some extra moisture. 
I just realized I put on a full face and I have to take a shower. Welp, wish me luck. Okay, I did it. I ended up just washing my hair in the sink because I didn't want to mess up my face. But I have shampooed, conditioned, and deep conditioned. So now I'm just going to apply my stylers and we'll do a nice little side by side and see which side looks better. So I am going to apply the Curlsmith Weightless Air Dry Cream. Just a little bit of leave-in. Not that my hair needs any more moisture after all this deep conditioning and conditioning, but just want to get the ends, make it a little shinier. A little bit on this side. And for the last and final step of my wash day, I'm going to add the Curlsmith Hydro Style Flexi Jelly, one of my favorite gels. Going to smooth and scrunch. Smooth and scrunch. So now I'm gonna let this dry and we'll come back for the big reveal. And voila, here are the final results. What do we think? Let's get a good look. Let's stare at it. Let's look at the volume, the definition, the shine. I don't... I can't see. I really see a difference. Do you guys? I think it looks like exactly the same. Just being honest. You guys know, sponsored or not, I'm going to tell y'all the truth. I don't really see a big difference. But... That's also a good thing, because we're always down for a good dupe, something that is cheaper or you get more of that will give you the same results as like the leading competitor. <sighs> what do you guys think? Leave a comment, let me know. I kind of feel like this side looks more full, giving me a little bit more volume, but that could mean because I have stringier pieces that are like giving me more volume, where these might be tighter, juicier curls therefore not like expanding as much. Um, this on the Olaplex side is a really pretty curl. But then this is a nice like thick curl on the Bond side. Um, lengthwise, I think I'm getting a little bit more length from the Olaplex side. Right? A little bit. But that could mean that the bond side has tighter curls than making it a little bit shorter, like barely. Hmm. I kind of feel like this side looks a little shinier, but I'm liking the volume on this side. Wow, this is a tough one. Now, before even going into this experiment, I already knew that I'm not really the prime candidate to test out a damage repair type hair product because my hair is relatively healthy. I deep condition once a week. I do have highlights, but it hasn't damaged my hair. So I was like, man, if only I knew some other curl friends that might have damaged hair that could benefit from this and maybe see some really true results. Then I thought of you guys. So I already volunteered you because I'm pretty sure a couple of you might be down. And I asked Curl Smith like, hey, I really wanna see if this works, but I wanna see like really concrete, true, before and after results. Can I ask some of my subscribers that might be dealing with some heat damage, some color damage, or maybe some dryness, they need some more definition, maybe ask them if they'd be down to try a bottle of the Bond Curl Rehab Solve and see if it works for them. And they said, let's do it. So I was thinking like, maybe two or three of you guys, but I don't know how many I'm gonna pick. I'm gonna base it off of the pictures you guys send me. So. I want you to leave a comment on this video telling me that you're interested, but I also need you to be on Instagram. What I would like to do is to go on Instagram and go live with you guys every so often so you can show everyone your real results. So I need you, the curl friends that I choose, to commit to using the Bond Curl Rehab Solve on your curls. I want a before picture. And then I want to see your curls after you use this consistently. What do we think? Are we down? Are we excited? 
let me know. So if you're interested in being one of my Bond models, oh, I should call you my Bond girls or boys. Mm. Gotta include the fellas too. My Bondies, my, my curl bonds. <laughs> I don't know. We're gonna think of a really cute trendy name. Give me your suggestions below. But if you want to be one of my Bond curl models, if you will, leave me a comment, let me know. And then I need you to send me a picture of your hair currently to Instagram. DM me, say, I would love to try the Bond curl and see what it does for my hair, whatever you wanna say. So I need a good clear picture and good lighting. Don't put a bunch of filters with like stars and sparkles. I need to be able to see your curls to see if one of they even can be repaired. Make sure you're not just someone that needs to big chop. But I am gonna be choosing a couple of you, so make sure you send me a picture on Instagram at Ms. Bianca Renee. As for me and my curls, I am still impressed by what Bond Curl did after one use. But I do believe that when you're trying to repair your hair, it's not gonna be a quick fix. But this is something that I'm going to commit to when I wash my hair so I can see what it does for my hair's health overall. What I'm most excited about is that it's going to strengthen my hair because it has protein. So although I personally am not looking for more curl definition, I am looking for my hair to be stronger, which is going to help with length retention and less breakage. So I'm gonna be keeping track of when I did tangle in the shower, how much breakage is happening, and if my hair feels stronger. So overall, I'm still very excited about this new launch. I'm excited to see what it does for you and your curls. If you don't have time for this giveaway, you just need this now. These are available at Ulta and at the Curlsmith website. So check this out and get a bottle for yourself and make 2021 the year of beautiful, healthy, defined, non-damaged curls. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to give me a thumbs up and subscribe. I post new videos every week and I am going to be announcing the 2021 challenge in my next video. So make sure you come back so you don't miss what we're going to commit to to make our hair healthy -er this year. I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching. Bianca Renee today.